I'm going to review True Classics Indico Wash Comfort Jeans. Welcome back to Life in My Shoes reviews and such. In this video, as the thumbnail and the intro indicate, I'm going to be reviewing the True Classic Indigo Wash Comfort Jeans. Per the norm, I'm gonna give you some details about the purchase, then I will give you details about the product as described by the company, and then I will give you my thoughts and opinions with some pros and cons. Before I launch into the purchase, I do want to caveat this entire video to say that this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase this product on my own for review, also because I am a consumer of True Classics products. It is something I wanted to try out on my own. And now the purchase. As indicated, I purchased these jeans in the color of indigo. I purchased these jeans in the size 36, which is the waist size. All of their jeans have a standard inseam of 33. And finally, I purchased these jeans for $50, which included shipping and was leveraging some of their sales. And now on to the product. Make your move with our Comfort Jean Collection, a super soft, stretchy, slim fit for the ultimate feel good experience. They are slim fit with a tapered leg opening, Size up for a looser fit. They retail for $79.99. Made of 54% rayon, 24% cotton, 20% polyester, and 2% spandex. They feature premium fitted ultra soft jeans with signature four-way stretch, a standard 33 inch inseam, cuff or tailor to your preferred length, a classic stitch with five pockets. They have 4.4 stars out of five on 614 reviews. Now let's talk about my thoughts and opinions on the True Classic Indigo Wash Comfort Jeans. Off the bat, taking them out of the package, trying them on and showing them off, my wife commented that she liked the fit and she really liked the dark color. From a style perspective, the blue, the indigo blue is a very deep blue and works really well to be a jean that is dressed up. From a fit and comfort perspective, the jeans are very forgiving and stretchy, super comfortable and allow for a great bit of mobility. Cons, uh, they do feel as if they are low rise. I don't know if that has to do with the material. So when I'm not wearing a belt because of the stretchiness and the forgiving in the waistline, they do tend to creep down. Now, as a confession, I also don't have a butt, so there's nothing to hold them up, but they do tend to creep down a little bit when I'm not wearing a belt, but they stay secured when I am wearing a belt. As demonstrated here, the front pockets are relatively shallow. My phone of preference is a Pixel 4 XL and it really struggles fitting into the front pockets. It almost sticks out. Uh, additionally, the back pocket, because of the stretchiness of this material, my wallet doesn't feel as secure in the back pocket of the pants because not only are the pants that material, but the material of the pocket is also that, which means that the pocket has a lot of stretch in it. At this point, Having only had them for a couple weeks, I don't really have any concerns about quality, although I will come back to that later on in the course of the year as I wear them more often and use them for a variety of functions to give a longer term view of the quality of the product. From a value perspective, getting these jeans at around the $50 mark with shipping, when they retail at the $80 mark, which they typically would have shipping on it, is a very reasonable price. Standard jeans are in the $25 to $35 range, so this is not much more of a premium price to pay for those. And in this genre of the athleisure-ish type of pant, uh, specifically the jeans, this is a low entry point compared to some of the others. So what is my overall opinion of the True Classic Indigo Wash Comfort Jeans? One, they are appropriately slim. 
some of these pants that I've been buying these days that say they are slim aren't quite as slim as I would like them to be. These definitely check that box. They are also stretchy and forgiving. They are a pair of pants that do not have the lack of mobility that a standard pair of jeans have. They have the mobility that come with a standard pair of athleisure pants. So there's a lot of stretch, there's a lot of forgiveness, the waist is comfortable, the legs, although they may hug your legs a little bit, there is still a lot of mobility that you have in them. You don't feel restrained with that fit. For me, since I am taller at six foot four, I am typically a standard 34, 33 inseam. I have no hemming required for these pants, so I am able to buy them at the appropriate waist size without having to pay to have additional hemming of them or cuffing, rolling the, them up. So this is a perfect fit for me. And then from a fit perspective, they really do look like jeans, but they fit more like an athleisure, i.e. even a sweatpant. Now I would say it's more, they fit probably more like a jogger, a tighter jogger, but they have a lot of that stretch and mobility which make them very comfortable. And finally, from a pro, overall, they are very reasonably priced compared to some of the other competitors in the market and even compared to a standard pair of jeans. So what are some cons I've observed with the True Classic Indigo Wash Comfort Jean? Number one, they only offer the jeans in three colors. I got the most traditional in indigo. They have black and they have gray. My preferred jean color is more of a stone wash, something that's a little more casual. Having said that, I do enjoy the fact that I have a darker jean that's a little classier and can dress up a little more, but I wish they had greater variety in the product. But I understand this is a relatively new offering for True Classic, so they may be coming out with a limited color set and then eventually expanding. So I'm holding out for them to expand into some more traditional blue jean colors. Another con is that they only offer these jeans in a 33 inch inseam. For a lot of people, that is gonna require, in addition to paying the either $79.99 retail plus shipping or the $50 that included shipping, you're gonna to have to pay an additional cost to have them professionally hemmed or you're going to have to always commit to wearing them with a cuff. That's unfortunate for the majority of people. Obviously for me, that length fit, but for a lot of people, that's not gonna work. Another con is the shallow front pockets. In this day and age where we're always carrying our cell phones and the cell phones are increasingly getting larger, having a front pocket that can't fully accommodate a modern cell phone is a little concerning because it feels like the cell phone could just like a banana could squeeze right out. Uh, although because the product is stretchy, it does hold it in there, but the concern is that that cell phone is peeking out of that pocket and just doesn't quite feel as secure. Additionally, the less secure back pocket. As I mentioned, the back pocket is deep enough and my wallet fits in it adequately and I have a little bit of a larger wallet, but because the material of the pant is that stretchy and then the pocket itself is that stretchy, that pocket is very stretchy, which means you're, you're wallet is not fitting in there quite as secure as I would like, um, which leads to more concern that you might have someone pickpocket your wallet. And that's my review of the True Classic Indigo Wash Comfort Jeans. Have you tried True Classic? Have you tried some of their t-shirts? Have you tried any of their other products? I found True Classic because uh, they offered long or tall t-shirts and their t-shirts are a little more flattering than a traditional t-shirt. They've got great, uh, a great fit. Uh, it's tight in all the right places and loose in all the right places. And I really like that. So I wanted to give them a try in some of their other products, which led to me trying out their comfort jeans. I am very pleased with these comfort jeans. I think it is a reasonable entry point 
into this kind of athleisure gene. So if you can get into it around the $50 mark, I'd say that's very reasonable. A lot of the competitors are going to be markedly more than that in the $100 mark. So this is a great entry point. So let me know your thoughts and comments below. Let me know if there's anything you want to know about this product that perhaps I didn't talk about or show you in the video, and I'm happy to answer questions. And with that, I'm signing out.